breaking the wall of immune disorders. Trishla Sinha, Falling Walls Lab, Groningen. The incidence of immune disorders is rising at an alarming pace. I'm sure all of you have friends or family suffering from allergies, eczema, or type 1 diabetes. What's even more frightening is that we don't know the cause of these disorders. And because we don't know the cause, we have no way of preventing them. What we do know is that the immune system in an adult is shaped very much by the immune system in early life. The gut bacteria, viruses, and fungi play a huge role in this immune maturation. And this gives us a window of opportunity. If we can target the gut microbiome during this crucial phase, we perhaps hold the key for the prevention of these immune disorders. So what did we do? In the north of the Netherlands, we formed the Lifeline's next multi-omic cohort, which consists of 1,500 families. From these families, we have extensive information regarding women before they were pregnant, during pregnancy, and from the infant during the first year of life and during childhood. The aim is to follow these families lifelong. In fact, the eldest of our infants is already six years of age. From these families, we have extensive information regarding their lifestyle and environment. For example, where they live, what do they eat, what sort of medications do they consume. Not only do we have this information, but we also have vast amount of biomolecular data. We have the genetics of these families. We have their microbes. We have the metabolites produced by these microbes. And importantly, we have information regarding their immune system. And what's very important, and the reason that I'm here talking to you about today, is that this information is, can be used by researchers all around the world. And integrating all this information together is already leading to exciting results, which I will share with you for the first time today. For example, we find specific gut bacteria that can predict the onset of infant eczema already at the age of one year. And integrating all this data together with the help of our new collaborators will result in breaking the wall of immune disorders.